Can anybody hear me? Can you guys hear me? I got a new mic. Hello? Huh. Sound like I'm in a can. We're going to be talking about the Foltree wireless microphone. Before we start, if you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell, like, and leave a comment below. The first thing you will notice is how small this device is. It will definitely fit in the palm of your hand. When you open the box, you will get a few extra accessories, such as a TRS to TRX the TRS to TRS plugins. For you guys that don't know anything about the difference between the TRS and TRS, well, let me explain real quick. The TRS is for your camera and PC and speakers, whereas a TRS is for cell phones and tablets. You will also be given a USB to a USB-C cable and a USB-C to a USB Cable. Now the case is not just a storage area for the mic, but it's also a charger and a receiver. Well, a poetry wire-free microphone will keep your wires in check. Not to mention, you can clip it on. This featherweight microphone has a long transmission distance that is accompanied by a 360 degree omnidirectional polar pattern. In other words, it can pick up sound from all angles. Listen as I give you guys an example. So hopefully you guys be able to hear me clearer with the lower audio setting. So let's see if you guys can hear me. How is this coming on? So we heard some Disconnected, connected. Outside noise. So I do know when I review the video, I was able to see a lot of interference, but that's because the volume was on too high and wasn't on low. But I do have it on the low setting, so I don't know if you guys can hear the extra noises and stuff that's going on, like the birds chirping and stuff like that, or uh, hear people driving in the background. But we're gonna see how this goes, and guys, I want you guys to be the judge of this. So let me know in the comment in below. So hopefully. You guys can hear me clear. Like I said, you got some talk in the background going on. You got birds and stuff, but I st should be still the mo main focus on the audio sound. So I hope you guys can hear me clear. Like I said, I did check this time. I do have it on the lowest setting of the mic. So hopefully this mic does a good job on outside environments. So I'm gonna take a little stuff, just a little more closer. Okay, and go one more test. How do I sound uh, closer? I'm closer, I'm about, about six feet apart now, like that social distancing from my camera. So I hope you guys can hear me just clear. And the mic is right here too, if you guys are looking for it. It's right here, really small and discreet. At a far distance, the mic sound is clear and that is surprising. You will also notice a connection issue as well as my voice seemingly going in and out at certain points of the distance. However, I strongly recommend using this mic no further than 10 to 15 feet away. Now, I believe they said you go up to 150 feet away, but I probably wouldn't do it. But if you want to, you can, because I'm sure it will still capture your voice. It's not bad for a $67 wireless mic. And if you get it now, you get an extra 20% off of your purchase. Based on the sound you guys heard, let me know in the, in the comments below what you think. The next audio test I will be conducting will be a comparison of a $200 Rode wireless mic against a Foltree $70 wireless mic. You, you guys will be the judge of which sounds better to you. Now just let me know in the comments below. What's up guys and welcome to Dancing With Tech. What's up guys? And welcome to Dancing with Tech. What's up, guys? And welcome to Dancing with Tech. What's up, guys? 
and welcome to Dancing with Tech. Now, after sitting here and listening to how I sound up close and so forth, on, honestly, the Fochi Wireless mic is awesome when you're sitting there and talking in the room. However, the Rode mic sound is outstanding. But you have to look at it, the amount of money you're paying for. And of course, if you're paying for a highly expensive microphone like the Rode, for example, of course you're gonna get better sound to sound. But if you're looking for a budget wireless microphone that has great sound, then I highly recommend this device for bloggers, for all YouTubers out there, for you guys who like to create content on TikTok, uh, for conference calls, live streaming, and of course, podcasts, because like I said, as you heard in the audio, the volume is so similar, you know, but I mean, you could tell, you know, just a little how clear the other one is, but I mean, if you guys not super big on audio, but you want to sound good, I'm telling you, this device will be perfect for you, especially at the budget. Since we are talking about volume controls, the power button also controls the volume of your wireless microphone. By default, the volume should be at the lowest setting, which I suggest keeping it there. You will be, you will get the best sound, and if you want the sound to be a little higher or louder, I would definitely suggest editing in some type of uh, sound editing software. But anyways, if you click on the power button twice, you'll get the louder volume. So you'll go from the low setting to the high setting. But if you click on the power button three times, then you will get the mute button. And the mute button will be in the color of purple. My only complaint will be to change the volume controls by having the blue light change position. So you got the blue light here, you click on it, it'll, go, it'll like move over to the right or left. Just an indication that it's changing. Because one of the biggest problems is when you click on it, you don't know if it's on a high volume or on a low volume. You only could tell because you know that the high volume is a second click. And when you click on it for the third time, it's going to take you to that purple light for the mute button. But if they have some type of, um, even like color coordination where the low is blue and the high is red and keep the mute in, in purple, that, that would be fine. All right, so that's my only complaint about that. Now, if you're looking for a wireless microphone with a long battery life, then you will be pleased that this device has 80 hour battery life, assuming you're turning it off after you're using it. So if you're the type of person using this lesson table all day long and you're mad cause the battery drains, and of course, what you expect. Anyways, overall, the Poetry Lavalier microphone is a total package and an awesome price point at $67. Also, if you get it now, as I said before, you will be able to get 20% off of this product. So guys, don't let this pass you by, because like I said before, like um, if you're on a budget and you're not trying to spend two, $300 on audio equipment, and especially if you're like a new YouTuber or a blogger, or whatever you do that requires some good sounding audio, like I'm telling this device will be that one for it. And like I said, you heard the end of the samples. You heard how good and clear to it. And I even did the comparison of a high-end microphone with this microphone, and you barely notice any difference. But like I said, I will leave all the information in the description below. And guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And also, you guys watch the video, go ahead and like. And if you have any questions or anything about the comparisons, go ahead and leave a comment below in the description below. And guys, um, until next time, I'll see you later.